Continuing our discussion of the pigeonhole principle, let's review what the principle says. It says that if you place more balls into fewer boxes, then at least one box has at least two balls. That is the statement. Now let's see how we can recognize when that statement will be useful in solving a problem. Here's our example. Among any seven people living in the contiguous United States, at least two people live within 1,500 miles of one another. So let's think about that statement. A lot of statements that come down to the pigeonhole principle seem outrageous, seem like they can't possibly be true. And then they're true for a very obvious reason, which is the pigeonhole principle. So let's unpack this statement. If I pick any seven people, I could pick any seven of you in this class, assuming you are living in the contiguous United States, and then two of you are gonna live close together within 1,500 miles of each other. That's kind of startling and surprising. So let's think, okay, what are the components that I have here? What are the balls? What are the boxes? What are the important parts of the problem? Well, there's definitely seven people, okay? That's important. There are some people. People, that's either gonna be a ball or a box. And here's another place where we talk about people. There's this statement, at least two people do something. They have some property. What is the property? They live within 1,500 miles of one another. Okay, so we can think of boxes as sort of like properties and balls as the objects, okay? So when I take the balls, I can say, well, let's put things into the same box if they have a property in common. That's one thing we can do. So these two balls have something in common. These other balls maybe don't. Okay, that's the idea with the pigeonhole principle. So as we look at this problem, what we want to do is we want to say, okay, well, what are my balls and what are my boxes? And that's going to help us to prove this with the pigeonhole principle. So I've got seven people. So seven people, these are the balls that I have. So these are my balls. I've got seven balls. Okay, how many boxes do I have? Well, I'm not really sure about that yet, but what are the boxes? So my boxes, I must put things in the same box. So any two things in the same box means they have to have this property. Same box means close together, okay? Within 1,500 miles. And now the at least two people, right? One box, one box has at least two balls. That's what the pigeonhole principle is gonna tell me, that two people have this property in common. So, okay. How am I going to think about that box, though? Well, how many boxes do I have? Again, let's look at the pigeonhole principle. The pigeonhole principle says I have to have more balls than I have boxes. I know how many balls I have, seven. So I need, at most, six boxes. So I need less than or equal to six boxes. That way, when I choose seven people, I know two of them end up in the same box. So that's fantastic. So I've, I've sort of decomposed my problem like this, and I've gotten it started. Now I still have some more work to do. In combinatorics especially, it's a very concrete subject. Draw a picture, it often helps, okay? So what do I need to draw a picture of? Well, I don't wanna draw a picture of a person because I'm not very good at that. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty bad at drawing pictures of most things, as you'll soon find out. Um, but I'm gonna draw the United States because <laughs> that's in the problem. Okay, so what does the US look like? Well, there's this long border with Canada and like kind of goes down here. We got like Michigan sticking up there and we got Maine and come down the Eastern coast, Florida kind of juts out there. And then uh, Texas is sort of like that. And come back around California, yay, back up the coast. So this, pretend this is the United States, okay? What do I know about this? I'm gonna divide this into most six boxes. Okay, and then what, it, what means in a box? People have to be close together. Well, here's some facts that I happen to know about the United States of America. Um, I know that if you were to drive across it, and I've done this many times, um, if you go east to west, this is less than or equal to 3,000 miles. And if you go north to south, I've not done that one, um, but I can check on Google, this is at most 2,000 miles. Okay, so I could think about dividing the United States in this way. So I know that, okay, here we go, this guy, I know all the way down to Florida, this is, let's say, 2,000 miles. And all the way across here, this is 3,000 miles. This is relevant information. Why is this relevant? Well, sorry, make it visible. It's relevant because I, I've got this 1,500 miles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide up the US 
into regions so that any two people in the same region live close together. Well, the obvious thing for me to do is to divide, divide it. Just put a line here, okay, and then I'll put three lines here. So I'll divide here and here. Now I've got a three by two grid. Three times two is six. I've got six boxes. How big is each box? So each box like this is 1,000 miles by 1,000 miles. So the farthest away two people could live in a square is if they live catty corner like this, okay? So what's that distance? Well, just switch your units a little bit. It's a one by one unit square, okay? So what's the hypotenuse of that? It's the square root of two. So this distance here is approximately 1,414 miles, which, aha, <laughs> that is less than 1,500. So now I think, aha, this was a clever problem and I'm on to something here. So when I divide the U.S. into these regions, right, here's what's happened. So I have six regions and each is 1,000 miles by 1,000 miles. Seven people means two in the same region. And that means that two within 1414 14 miles of each other. So yes, it is absolutely a fact that if you take seven people, any seven people you like, it doesn't matter which seven you choose, living in the contiguous United States, two of them, at least two of them will live close to one another. By close, you mean less than 1,500 miles. So that's how we can take a problem like this. Again, our, our clues that it was pigeonhole is the at least two people have some property in common. Once we see that, okay, pigeonhole principle. Now we think balls and boxes. I need to have more balls than boxes. So once you figure out what the balls are, you can construct your boxes based on this property people have to have. And you know how many boxes you're going to need. Here it was six. Okay, so I had my seven people. Seven minus one is six. That's how I knew there were six boxes. I needed any two people in the same box to be close together. That gave me a hint as to how to construct my boxes and a little bit of geography finished the problem.